You've probably seen rabbits wherever you live, but the rabbits we have here in the Sonoran Desert are really unusual. They have extra long ears and long legs. They're called jackrabbits. I'm Rita Goldner and I'm an author and illustrator of children's picture books. My job requires me to do some interesting research and I have found some fun facts about jackrabbits and also some native people folklore stories about jackrabbits and I have an easy to follow sketch of a jackrabbit for you. Thanks. You'll just need a regular piece of white paper, computer paper is fine, and a red pencil, and also a regular number two black pencil. You could also use a black marker if you'd like, but you don't need it. You also won't need an eraser. In fact, I recommend against it because it'll just confuse the sketch. For today, I've got two separate photographs of jackrabbits in different poses. And I put them to side by side, and I'm going to make one picture out of the two of them. So on the photograph, I'm just going over it like I always do with a red pencil, finding shapes. It doesn't have to be thought of as an ear or a leg or a face, just a shape circles, ovals, lines, rectangles, whatever. So you're breaking down your photo reference into a bunch of shapes. Then I'll copy these same shapes onto a plain piece of white paper, starting with a lighter red pencil, and then I'll transfer later to a darker pencil. I want to start light so that you can make as many so-called mistakes as you need to. Don't erase anything, just keep going. And then later with a darker pencil or black, you'll pick out the lines and the shapes that you like. As you can see, I'm doing that here. I'm going over my lighter pencil and raising the eyes and changing some of the shapes to be more like the photograph, looking at how each shape is related to the one next to it. While you're drawing, I'm going to tell you a Native American story about a wily rabbit and his friend, a coyote. The rabbit found a colt asleep in the road and tricked the coyote by saying he would help the coyote get the colt so he'd have something to eat. So when they started to move the colt, he, the rabbit told the coyote, I'm not strong enough, so I'm going to tie your tail to the colt's tail, and then I'll help you drag him off. So when he tied the two tails together, the colt woke up and ran off, dragging the coyote behind him. So the coyote eventually worked his way free, but then the rabbit had to go and run for cover because the coyote was after him for revenge. So you can see on the drawing that I had started with a lighter red and eventually I went to a darker red when I was more sure of the shapes I wanted. And then the final thing is going over it with a dark black pencil and then transfer the final drawing to a piece of drawing paper or watercolor paper. I hope you learned something interesting about jackrabbits and maybe you're becoming a fan of wildlife too. Please subscribe and also click on the little bell so you'll be notified when new animal videos like this are posted. Thanks for watching.